Hi, welcome back. This is the second video of Navigating Easy Cloud with Confidence. The first video was an introduction. And in that video, we talked about the different sections of Easy Cloud's web interface and what you can expect to find in these sections. So if you haven't checked it out, we recommend that you start from there and we have linked the video in the description below. Now in this video, we will explore the Cloud menu. And to give you a heads up, we will go on to explore the site menu and the device menu in the coming up videos. So let's start. We're now on EC Cloud, and the Cloud menu here on the left is what we'll be covering in this video. So the first thing on the Cloud menu is a drop down menu that allows you to go to a site that you have created. For example, we can just click on Main Campus to go to the site. And anytime you want to switch to another site, you can just come to this menu and select another site that you want to go to. And to go back to the Cloud menu, you have two options. The first option is to click here. You can see that we're now back at the Cloud menu. However, this content page will not change. And your other option would be to click here. By clicking here, you'll be taken back to the Cloud dashboard. Now, below the drop-down menu is the dashboard, which is also what we're seeing right now. And on this dashboard, you'll be able to check system status. It shows you the health of your sites and devices. And also, you'll know if the devices have been configured by the cloud properly or if they've been registered successfully. Now, if you scroll down, you can see the activity box. So by clicking on See More here, then here you can let us know how you feel about EC Cloud and submit your feedback. Then the status map here shows you which sites are located where and the number of devices registered. But this would require you to have pinned your sites to a location on the map. Then if we scroll further down, you can see uh, an overview of which add-ons have been enabled, which we don't have any right now and an overview of the site status. Then here you can submit your feedback and enable beta features. Below the dashboard is the devices page. This page allows you to manage all the devices registered on this cloud, as well as register new devices. So this is very important. Every time you get a new device, come to this page to register your device. Then below devices is the activity page that we have mentioned earlier. Here you can see all the activities that have happened on the system, and you can also see them by different categories. Then moving down to the management section, there are a few things that you can manage here. You can manage sites, users, add-ons, licenses and billing, and cloud properties. First, site management. Remember that when you first create a cloud, there will not be any sites, and you will have to create one yourself. Here you can see the sites that have been created on this cloud, or you can add new sites or delete an existing site. And of course, you can also edit site properties if you like. Then user management. Here, user refers to any user that can access this web management interface. And we support tiered user management through assigning users different roles. So once you have created a cloud, you may want to give others permission to manage this cloud. Similarly, others might want to give you permission to manage their clouds. So this is where you can do that. Then we have add-ons. There are four categories of add-ons. While some are free, others are charged services. To give you a few examples of what add-ons are available, we have Authport, which allows you to authenticate Wi-Fi users, and also it comes with a captive portal editor so that you can customize the splash page. Then Content Shield is a lightweight DNS-based web filtering service for guest Wi-Fi. Then you can also extend the amount of time your site's data is retained in the cloud. 
then going down, you can also send your site's alerts and notifications to your team Slack account. Then licenses and billing. Here you will see the cloud balance and you can choose a payment method. If you have upgraded your cloud plan or if you have purchased add-ons, the fees will be reflected in the balance. And also you can upgrade your cloud plan here. Then you can also check fees associated with add-ons and view invoice history. Last properties. Here you can edit information about this cloud. You can also enable beta features if you like, and you'll be able to edit billing information here. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us at ecwifi at edge-core.com. In the next video, we will explore the site menu, so stay tuned. See you soon.